What's up guys, it's Bryce here from Righteous Reptiles. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning wood for your reptiles enclosures. He's filmed this twice before. Yeah, I did do it. And he messed it up. No, you messed it up. What do you mean I was filming? It wasn't me, you were filming. I am you. <sighs> Whatever. Now that that's out of the way, thanks guys for watching. Let's enjoy this video together. Step number one is to go out on a cool dry day and that's because everything's going to be dry and therefore making your life a whole lot easier when you want all the disinfectants to soak into whatever you find, like a piece of wood. And now the area you collect from is also quite important and that's because you don't want any litter, pesticides or mold. Simple stuff like that can cause big issues for your reptiles. Pesticides are high up there as well as mold and litter. All of those three things. Don't collect from an area that has those three things. Now let's get on to the next thing. Whew. Now when collecting, try collect something like this. Yeah, hardwood. Although this is not hardwood, it's a rock obviously. Try collect something that's hardwood just because it's less likely to succumb to rot or have termite damage. And you want it to last as long as possible, right? So why not get hardwood instead? If you can find it, that is. So when taking from the wild, remember not to destroy the environment around you. You want to keep it as pristine as possible. So take what you need and that's it. If there's bugs and little living creatures inside of the piece of wood that you find, just leave it. It's a home for another creature. There's plenty other pieces that don't have occupants and you can use those rather. Did that even make sense? Hope so. Now check at this, this piece is just gold. It's like a root or something. Perfect! Okay, so now I'm gonna do something pretty cool. Watch this. And there we have it. The bath is full of all the stuff I've collected for my reptiles and some are for my friend's reptiles enclosures. Now what we're gonna do with this horrible echo is nothing, but what we're gonna do now is fill up the bath with hot, hot water, so the hottest water you can get straight from the tap and add boiling water from a kettle as well as some nice reptile safe disinfectant. Okay so as we wait for the water and the disinfectant to soak in we are going to talk about something that I think is quite important and that is bleach. So you may see many people saying to bleach all the stuff that you find outside I kind of disagree because bleach is a chemical and it can kill your animals so I'd rather take the risk with having living microorganisms that are in the wood than having a chemical that could potentially kill your animal. We are doing everything we can to prevent all the living things from staying inside the wood so your reptiles enclosure will be nice and clean and that's why we're using a really good strong reptile disinfectant that is used by veterinarians, it's called F10. As well as what I'm doing is soaking it in hot water. This is releasing all the tannins and chemicals in the wood and hopefully that's going to make it really, really nice and safe for the reptiles. I have done this before and my reptiles are still alive after many years, so don't complain, it, they should be fine, don't worry. So the third thing I'm going to do to the wood to make it extra safe for the reptiles is after it's soaked in the water for 24 hours at a minimum because we want to get the core of the wood to have that disinfectant inside of it so it's like pure and perfect. What I'll do then is for the small pieces I'll put it in the oven. So putting the wood in the oven, yes it may sound a bit dangerous and I suppose it can be, but what you'll do is you'll put it at 150 degrees Celsius, the temperature of the oven. That's that in Fahrenheit and most woods have the burning temperature of about 300 degrees Celsius. So it should be okay but set a timer and check it every few minutes and put the wood in for at least two hours so you can dry out the core. And then once you've done that, you can get stoked and set up your reptile cages and make them look so natural and perfect for your animal and for you because it's way more enjoyable seeing your animal in a naturalistic setup than it is with plain old boring newspaper, although I do like using newspaper for quarantine. Video linked up here. Your sound in here is awful. That should sound better. Always. Who knows? 
Okay, so the water looks terrible and that's because the wood's been releasing tannins overnight. That's like the colorant and whatever and the chemicals inside of the wood. It's now all in the water, or most of it anyways, and now we're going to scrub it off. So it's been in there for about 24 hours. So now let's scrub off all the dirt with like this old scrunchy thing. Let's do that. Try not to scrub off the bark just because the bark adds texture to your enclosure. Just get off all the dirt basically and then we're gonna dry it up okay so now that you've let all the water out of the bath it's time to get your pieces of wood nice and dry so you're able to use them for your enclosures okay so step number one is to take all the pieces that will fit into your oven and put them in your oven for about an hour at 150 degrees Celsius I've already talked about this and why we do this but anyway put it in the oven Okay, so now you have all your big pieces outside and ready to dry. Now let them dry in the sun and keep taking them inside at night because it does take more than one day to fully dry out the core of the wood. This may take even a few weeks and if you're not able to do this, rather let it drip dry and that will take a few months before you can actually use it for your animal's enclosure. Okay, so now that that's done, that's basically it. you got to now set it up in your reptiles enclosures. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And thank you so much for watching. Bryce from Righteous Reptiles. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire. Cheers, guys.